Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the 12-12 portal reading for the sign of Pisces. This will be for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. So please check out the other signs that make up your natal chart as often they can resonate even more than your sun sign. And cross watchers, if I'm speaking to Pisces and it sounds like I'm speaking to you, by all means, take the message that way. And guys, if it doesn't fit, please don't make it fit. It just means I'm not tuning into your vibration right now. And also means that you may have other planets within your natal chart that are having a much stronger influence on your experience than your sun sign. So um, I'm not going to take a lot of time to explain the power of the 1212 portal in these videos. I do recommend checking out the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine videos I've done specifically on that. Those are both about 30 minutes long and they give a lot more detail on the importance of this portal, but it's basically a massive karmic completion cycle. Um, major lessons being completed, things ending, things being done in order to make room for what's coming in in 2020, which is highly significant as well, which is why I recommend watching the 2020 series I've put together. I have a playlist here on the channel where I have um, done a bunch of videos about the significance of the incredible energies coming in. And obviously understanding these energies and how they could be affecting us will help you navigate that time much better as well as take advantage of the positive energies. It's like using it to your advantage. So I definitely recommend watching the 2020 series. But um, we are going to take a look here at Pisces for an overall card for this portal for the for the sign of Pisces. Oh, and we're getting love. I can't remember which other sign got this card, but check that out. This is a beautiful energy of love. And you notice there's a single person here on this card. So it's very much indicating to me the energy of love of self being good with yourself, being good internally, truly accepting all sides of yourself, Pisces. Um, because in, or in order to attract a partner or, a, or be in a true sacred partnership with another person, it means we truly have to love ourselves first. If we don't love ourselves first, we're going to be in unhealthy dynamics. We're going to be stuck in codependency. And that's what we as a collective are breaking free of. And again, check out the 2020 series because there's a lot about that in that series. So let's take a look now at what past energies has been, have been weighing Pisces down leading up to this portal. We're getting the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Magician. So it feels like what's been weighing you down here. Pisces is um, some of you may have been at a crossroads with a situation wanting to maybe cut something out, maybe being very decisive because you're ready to make something happen when it comes to your life. You're ready to manifest. You're ready to make it happen in your world. And it could be that um, you're ready to continue a certain relationship, but you're kind of being no BS and no drama about it. So let's get some more here about how, what past energies have been weighing you down. We're getting the Strength card and the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. And the Magician is getting the Fool. Okay, so we have three major Arcanas out of six. For what's been holding you back. So what's been weighing you down is the fact that you're ready to manifest, but you've been on the brink of manifesting. You might be second guessing, taking action. You've been holding back from continuing something that's already started here with likely with a person that you are interested in, emotionally involved with, have a soul connection with. So let's see what's being confronted. We'll get more to the story here with what's being confronted for you, Pisces. There's that Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So what's being confronted with this portal is you is there's emotional communication here. This can be offering of an apology um, that is going to end a difficult situation, one that's been challenged, one that's been you know, full of thoughts, fears, limitations, and, but there is a sincere offer here, moving something forward. So the page is emotional communication, but the knight actually moves something forward. 
So it's like what's being, you may be communicating or apologizing or someone might be apologizing to you. That's going to put an end to a challenged past situation and be bringing you um, a sincere offer or you want to bring a sincere offer to somebody here. Tell me about this 10 of swords. Tell me about the 10 of swords. The Hierophant. Yeah, there's been a big spiritual lesson here that that is complete. That is complete. And the Knight of Pentacles is getting the Wheel of Fortune. So what's being confronted is this is destined. It's time to move this forward. It's time to make this happen. It's time for this past to be over with. And the Chariot with the Page of Cups, again, forward movement. But this is swift forward movement. This is also victory here. So something's going to, with this communication about feelings is going to come forward movement in a massive way. That's going to bring things forward in a beautiful way. They're going to propel them forward into the next phase of the journey. Let's see what's being reborn for you, Pisces, with this portal. What is being reborn for Pisces during this portal? We're getting the three of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the eight of wands. So what's being reborn here for you is working together as a team with this person. And, um, you know, this five of pentacles is significant because there's a Cupid that's taking the mask off of her face. So it's like she hasn't seen this before, but now she's starting to see the truth that, um, she doesn't have to hold on to this woundedness and this, this, victim mentality, fear of rejection. And, um, this is communication again, lots of messages back and forth. So to me, it's like somebody is what's being reborn for you is the energy of letting go of the fear of rejection and just communicating, wanting to work together, wanting to be a team, sending messages back and forth. And tell me about the five of wands. I'm sorry. Why is the five of pentacles here? We're getting the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So this is about family and healing. Um, this is about making everything tangible when it comes to a happy family. Because this person, you or this person, wants to communicate and work together to heal the situation, to heal the family unit, whether it's an actual family that you guys have been together and, uh, but ultimately it's about healing whatever will lead to a happy family. And the communication here is the breakthrough. So what's being born here is this breakthrough when it comes to actually stepping off this edge here and not looking back and not second guessing you're ready to move forward and make something happen. So let's see what truths you're now aligning with, Pisces. What truths are you now aligning with, with this portal? The Three of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Wow. So the truth that you're aligning with here is that you are have a new beginning that's based in truth and clarity. It's victorious. There's lots of love here. And you're, you're moving past any past heartbreak here with the three of swords, because look at the rose in this particular deck, look at the rose on this middle sword and the other two swords are pointing down into this dark cloud. That cloud is done with the truth and the clarity that has come from past heartbreak is here. And so is a lot of love. There's a lot of love and a lot of truth and there is victory here. Tell me about the three of swords. We're getting the seven of cups and the world. So if there's been the truth that, that you're aligning with Pisces is if there's been any confusion about emotional sadness of heartbreak from the past, that's over. You've become enlightened about that and under and have that from a higher perspective. You're having balance. You're having joy here. And what other truth are you aligning with, with this king of cups? And the Queen of Cups, guys, that's a that's a that's a power couple. 
this is your soulmate. This is your sacred partner. This is your person. Whoever this is in your life that this is resonating for. And tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yep, you're ready to give. You're ready for reciprocity. You're ready for a balanced relationship. And you're wanting the old to be out. You're, you're wanting the old to be done because you're making a very sincere offer here. Or they're making a very sincere offer to you. The, the past is in the past. The transition card, this is the death card. This is about being reborn with this clarity, this truth, this love. This is the breakthrough here. This is going to be a big breakthrough for you, Pisces. Here with this portal. Let me get one more card. It's something you've been waiting for with this three of wands. And it's something that's destined with the star. Oh, and check out at the bottom, we have an ace of wands. So lots of new beginnings. This is a, I mean, this, that's the theme of this portal period across the board. And remember, we're all swimming in the same cosmic pool of energies. And so to think that our readings for each of the astrological signs is going to be drastically different, that it just, it's just not possible. They're all very similar. They, they do interact with the energies in different ways, but the overall themes do stay the same within the collective. So this is a massive one, guys. This is why I wanted to take the time to do these 12-12 uh, messages for all the astrological signs to really support you on your path. So with that, guys, I want to send you so much love. Until next time. Bye.